All right, y'all. Welcome, welcome. Your girl is back. Welcome to Tweet Talks. That's right. Your girl is here one more again. Y'all know I'm from New York, so I just adapted that term because I like it. <laughs> all right. So, welcome to Tweet Talks for all of my new listeners here. This is the chill spot, the relaxed spot where we just talking, communicating. Anytime you want to send any comments, concerns, questions, or request to be a special guest, you can hit me up at tweettalks2 with a Z at gmail.com, and that's where I will get back to you. All right, so let's roll into this, today's episode. Today's episode is entitled, What Would Your Ex Say About You? Boop, boop. Okay. What would your ex say about you? All right, so... In this episode, basically, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it because a lot of times when you think of your ex, the first person that you, th- the first thing that you think of when a when person says ex, that's associated with being canceled, being the past, no longer a thing. And a lot of times when we look at ex, we often connect it with something that the other person has done wrong to us. You know, I'm a female, so when one of my girlfriends is talking to me about their ex, the first thing that I put in my mind is they're no longer together because he didn't do this or she didn't do this. You know what I mean? So I never, I don't never look at it like, okay, well, the ex is the person that they're just no longer with because they had um, a mutual understanding that this thing would work. A lot of times we don't look at it like that. Okay, and when we think about the ex, we need to think about it. like we need to think about this. These are two people that decided to go their own way. But a lot of times, if it's somebody that we know on a personal basis, and we know this person is generally a good person, but they have good picks, you usually look at it like, okay, well, it's something that this person could have did. Because my girlfriend, she is just good, good girlfriend. She ain't gonna do nothing out of the way, and this and the other. But we we have to realize that sometimes the ex is. An ex because of something that we have done. Okay? And so, when we think about that ex, we have to look at it like it's a platform that has been laid down going forward. Because I'm going to tell you something. That a lot of people may not really want to recognize and realize, but our exes are a formula for who we date today. Okay? So, I'm going to take it back for y'all. When I say formula... We're going to talk about a mathematical equation. It is a formula, meaning plus plus equals two times P squared pi. It has some involvement in how we date today. Okay? Let me let y'all take a minute to take that all in. Because when you really think about it, you're going to say, hmm. Okay? And when I say that, our ex, we have to look at it like, okay, going forward in our lives, the ex is going to either make the mark, meaning whoever I date has to be like this person or whoever I date has not to be nothing like that person, okay? And this reminds me of a song. I actually can't remember the name of the song, but I will add it in the comments. But there's a song by Tamar Braxton, and she basically talks about one man that she was with, um, actually setting the tone for anybody that she comes, she deals with after. And ladies, I know my ladies is listening. That is the truth. There's always going to be that one ex in your life that treated you the best. And anybody that comes along after that, they have to meet that mark. They have to meet that mark. Now, I don't speak from a male's perspective. Men, I know y'all are listening. It's happening on the low, low. Mm-hmm. I know y'all are there. So, you can comment. Send me an email at tweettalks2 with a Z2 and at gmail.com and let me know your thoughts on this because I do know that females, when you're dating a guy and a guy treats you good, regardless of where the situation went or how it ended up, that tone is set. He actually sets the bar for anybody coming after him. Okay. Then we have that on the flip side. If you deal with somebody, if you deal with somebody that just does you so wrong, he also sets the bar. Mm -hmm. He sets the bar for what you will not deal with, what you will not take. Okay. Now, when I say this, a lot of times based on a female's past few, past tense and how bad it was in the past, she may meet somebody that may have a similar situation, but just know, 
okay? Y'all remember that song back in the day? Um, Drop down and get your eagle on? Well, hmm. She got her eagle eye on. <laughs> she has that eagle eye on, and she is paying keen attention to see if this new dude is equivalent to the dude in the past that she would never, ever, ever want to run into again. She's paying attention. Now, she may not let you know she's paying attention. There's two types of women. There's women that's going to let you know that she's paying attention to see if you're the same as the last one. And then there's some that are really good at not showing it to you and letting you know that they're paying attention and you taking me where I don't want to go anymore because if that's the case, I'm taking off my seatbelt and I'm getting out. <laughs> I'm getting out your ride because I don't want to deal with that. Okay? So... It's important to realize that our exes, they set a stone in our life. And they, another way they set a stone in our life is if you've ever been in a bad situation and you did that person wrong, you'll notice that you're going to change your process. You're going to change how you do things because you never want to be that person again. You're going to make sure that whatever it is that you did in the past, that you say, you know what? I don't ever want to revisit this space again. I don't want to be known as this person. I don't want to make somebody feel this way again. I don't want to discredit somebody. They're going to move differently. And fellas, I know y'all listening and saying there's no way that women do what we do. Women are a lot of times just less obvious about the reasons why they do things than men may be, in my own opinion, but a lot of times a woman is still holding those different standards up and paying attention. And she's holding herself, she may hold herself account accountable, but she's holding herself internally accountable. Because the reality of it is, men are visual. When they see something that they like, a lot of times they're more interested off of what they see physically. Us women, we also are uh, visual beings, but not as visual as men. So a lot of times we have to say to ourselves, you know what, this looks like it could be a good thing, but our grown up, grown women uh, senses have to start tingling in and letting us know that, you know what, we have to revisit this thing from a different eyesight, from, from, from the backside and look at things and say, you know what, is this something that's bringing back a past recurring relationship? Just to give you a small example, any female that has been in an abusive relationship, she tend not, she may not be too inclined to do play fighting. She's not going to allow you to put her hand, put your hands on her a certain way. Um, maybe after a disagreement and you decide you're going to grab her, give her a hug, she may not be for that because of something she has experienced in her past. Now that doesn't mean that you have to change who you are. You have to keep in mind that a person's past is always going to be a formula for who they are today. We're not, we're not products of what we're living in now. We're products of our environment. Okay, meaning our past environment is going to mold us to be who we are. So we have to remember that the people that we date, and we also have to look at the people that we date and, and the, the seasons that we're in because we all know life has different seasons. And sometimes we'll be in a season of our life where we may be lonely. And you may go, okay, well, you know what? This is a good thing. This is a really good thing. And then when that loneliness passes, you're like, mm, why is this person still here? Why am I still dealing with this situation? Why am I? And these are the reasons why it's important to pay attention to the exes that we have in our lives. Because sometimes we deal with a person during our season, during a certain season, and that's not generally who we are. That's not generally our style. That's not generally how we want to be treated. Okay? I'm going to tell you something that my mother always tells me. And she says, you have to get to know a person during different seasons of their life. Which means you got to get to know them when they're happy, when they're sad, when they're angry, when they're broke, when they got money, when they're feeling confident, when they're not feeling confident. Because if you don't, one of them seasons you're going to get to and you're going to be like, mm, now I see why this person is an ex. Or now this is why I need this person to be an ex. And once you get to learn a person during all different seasons, then you can assess yourself better going forward into another season. Because you can say, okay, you know what? I was dealing with this situation in my past because I was in this season. I'm not in that season anymore. So I may look and want to deal with somebody that's more this kind of way and that kind of way. Right? All right, y'all. So we're gonna let, I'm going to let y'all go on this short episode of Tweet Talks. But just keep around and stay tuned because your girl is here. And she will be back. All right? Peace out, tweet, tweet, y'all.